what's up you guys welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm going to be doing another episode of clean beauty favorites and i wanted to start the makeup portion of it but i wasn't really sure how to go about it because i didn't want to do just like all makeup in one video because i think the video would be super long so i decided to split it up into three so for today's video i'm going to cover primers foundations and concealers these makeup videos are probably going to be a bit shorter because i don't have a ton of products but like overall if i did them all at the same time it would be a lot of products so i have two primers, two foundations, and three concealers that I wanna share with you guys, and I guess let's just get right into it. So I do not wear primer every day. I actually rarely wear primer, only if I have like a wedding, a party, Kel and I are taking photos, like obviously something where I want my makeup to last. So my favorite primer of all time is the Savvy Minerals by Young Living Mattifying Primer. As you can tell, it's like pretty much gone. The tube is squeezed so much. I love this stuff for so many reasons. The main reason is that it works really, really well. Uh, if you're oily in your t-zone like me you need a mattifying primer and I love that this one actually is mattifying and another reason that I love it is because it's almost like skincare too because it has a ton of essential oils in it that are really really good for your skin so it's basically like makeup that's also part of your skincare routine and if you're gonna be putting makeup on after your skincare if you're even if your skincare is non-toxic you want to make sure that your makeup is good for your skin too so I really really like that this is good for my skin and it helps make makeup stay on it helps me stay mattified yeah it's super hydrating too somehow it's mattifying but also it doesn't like dry my skin out and and it has oils like frankincense manuka rosemary tea tree geranium lavender like a ton of oils that are really really good for your skin so it's makeup that's also skincare and good for your skin love that and then the other one that I want to talk about is the 100% Pure Mattifying Primer. So love this one too. Works really, really well. This one has seaweed collagen and then vitamins and antioxidants that are really, really good for your skin too. I say this all the time, but your skin is your largest organ, so it matters so much what you put on it because what you put on it goes in you. And even if your skincare routine is super clean, if you're putting makeup on that's toxic right after or that has toxic ingredients in it right after you do your skincare, then you're kind of like defeating the purpose. And primer you know you're like starting your whole makeup routine off with that so having one that's really good for your skin that works like a part of your skincare routine and that also works to keep your makeup on super important so these are my two favorites obviously they're both um, mattifying there are hydrating versions of each of these I haven't tried them because I just find that like I prefer liquid foundation or concealer which does the hydrating for me and then I like to mattify because like I said I get oily in my t-zone but I would definitely recommend checking out the hydrating versions of these if you don't need mattifying and then for foundation i have two that i want to talk about one actually isn't really a foundation it is the ilia super serum skin tint so i have talked about this a lot on my channel i love this stuff it has 50 spf which is great for me because i'm super super pale i get sunburned so easily and it also has squalane and hyaluronic acid in it so again makeup that's really good for your skin uh it has really good coverage for a skin tint surprisingly the bottle is so so cute you know i always have to comment on the bottle if it's a cute bottle it has zinc oxide for the sunscreen which is a great form of sunscreen i really like zinc oxide and yeah it just covers really well works really nicely feels really good on my skin it lasts a while doesn't settle in my creases and um yeah i just love everything about this and then i also want to talk about the new young living liquid foundation so this is a new convention product of this year and i love it i was not expecting to love it because natural foundations is just really really hard to make a good natural foundation and i really really like this stuff it does not have super super high coverage but i actually have grown to like makeup that doesn't have a ton of high coverage because i used to wear high coverage uh foundation all the time and my face just ended up so cakey at the end of the day it's definitely buildable it's i would say it's like light to medium buildable um coverage and then you can also buy a three i think it's three dollars a like swatch color swatch packet and it has clear a clear background and then all of the colors so you can color match if you're unsure i wish that i'd done that because this one is a little bit too light for me surprisingly enough but I can just put bronzer on and it totally works fine. It's not like ghostly white. I love the container. It's a t really big size, so it lasts a really long time. This also has a ton of good stuff in it for your skin. And yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it. I really, really like it. And then the last thing I want to talk about is concealers. So my favorite concealer right now is, again, the Savvy Minerals by Young Living Concealer. I was so shocked by this. This stuff, I talked about this in a favorites video recently um this is comparable to tarte shape tape and i was shocked by that i was a diehard tarte shape tape wearer i have never found a concealer that worked as good that looked as good that covered as well 
this stuff does it's really thick without being cakey blends really well the color's really nice it doesn't oxidize really bad like turn orange on your face yeah i don't know i'm just i'm really shocked by this i love it i love everything about it and i definitely definitely recommend getting your hands on this another concealer that i really love is the kosas concealer so i've talked about this as well this one is a bit dark for me this shade but i like to mix it with um like if i'm wearing this foundation that's a little too light then i'll use the concealer that's a little too dark and it kind of evens out this has really really great coverage it's not nearly as good as this but on days where i don't really have a lot of things to cover i like to wear this because it feels really light really airy it's a thinner more watery consistency which i like when i don't have anything to cover because it just kind of goes over my redness and just like sinks right into the skin and looks really really nice so i really really like this i get this on the detox market i get this on the detox market too or they have it on full lane and then obviously the young living stuff i get from uh young living but I really, really like this and then the last thing I want to talk about so this video is gonna be pretty quick is the RMS Beauty uncover up so this is a little different because it comes in this little pod and it's like a pressed cream consistency so I don't love this kind of concealer I don't find it as easy to blend or has as great of coverage this definitely has the least amount of coverage of all the three concealers but I really like the coloring I really like it for under eyes and I also like it similar to the Kosas when I don't have a lot to cover. Um, if I have a lot to cover, I'm going to wear the Young Living one because it's thicker and it really can cover redness and bumps and stuff. But if I'm just looking to, to spot cover or whatever, like no big deal, I do really like this one. Just kind of dip my finger in and tab it around. But yeah, I really, really like this. Worked really well. I feel like it's like a cult favorite. A lot of people that are into clean beauty really, really like this. So I had to try it and I do enjoy it. But I would say that I prefer these two. Just personally, I prefer... Um, cream ones that come in a tube I just find them easier to use and they look nicer have better coverage and that's actually all the products I have to talk about uh, I know this was super short and kind of <laughs> an odd video but I really didn't want to just like throw every makeup product I have at you so hope you guys enjoyed this let me know what your favorite primers foundations concealers are I feel like clean beauty foundations and concealers are the hardest thing to find because you're looking for something with good coverage and good coloring and a lot of times natural products don't really hit the mark on that you uh, need like a tart shaped tape with all the whoever knows what's in it to uh, get the coverage and the good color but these ones somehow managed to do it so I definitely recommend trying them out as always I will link all this stuff down below if you're interested in becoming a member for Young Living I will link that down below too you can always DM me with any questions you'll get 24% off any of this stuff if you want to try it out so uh, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I love you so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!